you want to know how much it costs to live in Auckland City, then this is the video for you. It is the biggest city in New Zealand and also known as one of the most expensive places. We've been living here for four months now. And the biggest chunk of our budget goes to accommodation. Finding accommodation in Auckland City can be a daunting task, especially if you're new to the area. In all our searches, we have only ever seen flats for rent, so if you don't like apartment living, you'll probably have to look on the outskirts or the suburbs surrounding the city. We enjoy the convenience of living in a flat as well as the benefits of living in the city, for example, being able to walk to work. So let's have a look at the cost of rentals in the city. This is realestate.co.nz and we'll search for Auckland Central. Something to note is that the amount shown is the price per week. Available properties change all the time and you might just get really lucky and find the perfect place for you. Here is a two bed two bath and something we would definitely have checked out. It's $8.50 a week and located on Beach Road. We actually look at this building every time we walk past us. We've noticed that a flat like this would usually be between $800 and $900 a week. If this is out of your budget you'll still be able to find a two bed apartment but it will probably only have one bathroom and will be a lot smaller like this one for 550 a week. It has a little balcony which would make it feel a little bit bigger and it's super central being so close to the sky tower. But if the sky is your limit when it comes to budget there are plenty of options for you. I mean who wouldn't want to live in this $3,500 a week three bed two bath penthouse located in Wynyard Quarter. So there really is something for everyone. When it comes to transport, walking is probably your best bet because Auckland is a really walkable city. If I have to wait more than 10 minutes for the bus, I'll definitely walk. And if the weather's good, walking is the best to go along the waterfront. And don't get us wrong, walking the city is really amazing, but you will get fit because there's like 50 volcanoes around Auckland. So there's some steep streets. A lot of people in Auckland use scooters and bicycles to get to work. Even my work has a whole room for all the bikes and scooters and if you plan on staying here long term best you invest in one of those it's going to save you a lot of time and money you can also use the public scooters that are parked all around town and they even have electric bikes that you can use as well as city hot cars and vans that's all around works with an app i'm not sure what the costs are maybe we'll find it online and post it for you other than walking public transport will be your cheapest way to get around within the city with short trips being just over two dollars if you do decide to use your car in the city be prepared for high fees to park your car a colleague of craig pays about 350 dollars a month to park his car in the city the other day at the gym i forgot to verify my card and it was 12 dollars just for one hour don't worry i didn't pay it i ran back to the gym and got it verified so it's always good to look for the long-term fees like daily rates weekly rates or monthly rates and another cost would also be petrol so we're at the petrol station <laughs> how much is petrol today it is three dollars 16 cents $3.16 for petrol today. There are apps that will actually show you which petrol station has the cheapest rate for the day. The nice thing about this petrol station is you pay beforehand, so I'm putting $80 in, all set up there, and you just push and it ends at $80. So. 25 litres for $80. Quite expensive, but like we don't use the car too often. They do also run specials sometimes where on certain days you get discounts like what is this six cents off per liter if you scan your app or something similar. We recommend not using your car in the city. Another cost related to your car would be insurance, which is almost $100 a month. Another thing you just need to add to your budget is if you're still repaying your car, which we are not because we bought our car cash when we got here. So just also keep that in mind if you're putting your budget together. 
savings is really important to us and we try and put away as much money as possible. Just before we left South Africa, we really got into trading and now that we're here, we found a platform that we really want to use. They also happen to be the sponsor of this portion of the video. Tiger Trade is one of the best investing platforms in New Zealand. It gives you the opportunity to trade in a variety of different markets. Tiger Brokers is a low cost broker currently offering low commission, 0.35% FX fees and free level two data on US listed shares and ETFs. It's quick and easy and ours got approved in minutes. Depositing money can be done through linking your New Zealand bank account through Akahu or depositing through Poli or a simple bank transfer. If you're new to trading like me, Tiger Trade offers a demo account as well as an academy section with educational videos. The most exciting tool though is Tiger GPT, a financial Q&A AI based on ChatGPT, supporting a variety of investment questions such as market data research, earning reports analysis, and company encyclopedia. Signing up through the link in our description and using our referral code SWEETAS will get you the following. Unlimited queries on Tiger GPT, a $30 bonus when you fund with any amount, and an extra $50 when you fund over $2,000 in your first week. You'll also get zero transaction fees for up to four stock trades per month and zero currency exchange fees for exchanging up to $2,000. This is everyone's for life, sweet as. In this section, we are going to cover utilities and all the little bits and bobs that doesn't fit in the other category. We'll start with water because that is actually free for us. So just make sure when you look for a rental, if it's included or not. In our house in the north, it wasn't included and we had to pay that, but it wasn't that much. But here we get it for free in the city. The next one is electricity. Our provider actually gives us electricity and gas and internet. We use contact and we have an app on our phone. We can monitor our daily usage as well as pay all our bills. Even when we moved homes, we just changed everything on the app. And here in the city, those three things combined comes to about $350 a month. Yep. Then our cell phone service provider is through Skinny. We have found them to be the cheapest. Yep. They have many different options. We've chosen to go with two different options based on the amount of data we use. I'm out a lot. so. I pay $50 a month, which until pays $40 a month. So yep. together, it's about $100 yep. for two for the month. And then of course, apps, very personal. So more or less $100 for apps. Yep. That's not very specific to whether you're in the city or not. And then we also have gym memberships. That is not a necessity, obviously. In New Zealand, you can go and run outside. <laughs> or go hike a mountain but we do like the gym here in the city especially during winter when it was so cold there's various options we've seen gyms from like seven dollars a week hmm. up to thirty dollars and something where rentals can maybe catch you out is parking some yeah. of them include parking and some of them you need to pay extra i've seen a flat where it was an extra eighty dollars a week for parking yeah to do your research. So just something to keep in mind. Luckily we have two spots included. <laughs> Groceries can differ quite a bit and it can range from like 150 to 250 a week depending on what you're buying. Uh, pack and save would probably be the better option when it comes to prices but Countdown is our closest shop so check out these prices. We'll start off with bread. We like the Plowman sourdough. It comes in at $4.39, but there is cheaper bread at $1.59 or this one for $3.30. A two liter milk is $3.73, 12 eggs for around $9 and six eggs for $5.30. Two kgs of potatoes can vary between seven and $10. Tomatoes are $12 per kg or $6 for the 600 gram pack. Bananas, $3.45 per kg. All the meats are per kg. So rump steak is $23.95. Lamb chops, $17.90. Pork chops, $15.70. Chicken is $6.80. And 750 grams of mince is $14.90. One kg of oven chips is $3.20. 500 grams of ground coffee is $6.80. Normally we get this on special for $5.50. The cheapest bottle of red wine is $11.90 and the white ten dollars and eight dollars for a pack of eight rolls of toilet paper these prices are all from the countdown in the city products do go on special often so it's good to look out for those and buy it when it's on special otherwise there are outlets if you want to take a drive out of the city places like why not we've been there once and got things on 
good specials, yep. but they close to their sell by date, so. The thing that makes our budget tighter here in Auckland than in Northland is entertainment. And that's because there's so much to do here in Auckland City. There are a lot of free activities which we'll tell you about later. But for now, we're going to go to Harvey Eats and show you what a meal would cost here. The reason we like to come here so often is because we find it to be one of the more affordable places to get some food. An average meal at Harvey Eats would cost around $15, but if you go to a restaurant 25, it just goes up from there depending on which restaurant. We also like to get a little mix of cuisines. So we have these dumplings, the most amazing spicy sour soup or something like that. It is just so delicious. That was I think $7 for five dumplings. And you get that delicious soup. Chicken bites from Kai Eatry, one of our favorite places. That was, I think, about $14. And we have spring rolls from the Vietnamese street food. And they were, I think, also around $7 for two. So all together, around $30. One of my favorite things to do is the Tamaki Run, which starts right here and it runs all the way to St. Helier's Bay. It's 10 kilometers and they've got a plaque on the ground here down by the viaduct. It's a beautiful stretch, obviously free. I ran this last week and it was phenomenal. It's on the water the whole way. It's nice and flat, really cool. Another free thing you can do as an Auckland resident is go to the Maritime Museum, which is just behind me. It is really cool. We haven't done it yet, but it's on the list. <laughs> and on that topic, you can also go to the Auckland Museum for free as an Auckland resident, which is up by the domain. You can also go to the art gallery for free. But being an Auckland resident, you do get some perks. There's some perks. So, pretty cool. <laughs> Another walk that you can do is also along the water, but in the opposite direction, all the way to the Auckland Harbour Bridge. You can do it here from the city. And then obviously just walking the city streets is an adventure in itself and free. <laughs> if you want to see views of Auckland City but you're on a budget, I would recommend taking the ferry from the downtown terminal to Devonport. It's probably around $5 one way. You've got to time it perfectly. Go as the sun's setting, then you get golden hour views. And then on the way back, you'll get city lights and it's just the most amazing views. So we budget around $100 a week for entertainment. Some weeks we go over and some weeks under. Just like the other week we went to the movies which worked out to about $25 per person for the tickets and then you add on your snacks and drinks to that. But then the following week we just have a chilled one at home or we do one of the free activities around the city. And sometimes unplanned things happen like this morning. Check this out. So here's the thing that really can blow your budget in Auckland. You walk around and you come across stuff like this cool market and then you see these donuts that I've seen all over TikTok. It's from Butter Baby and it's a ube flavor which I've never tried before. It's I think it's up with yam or something like that. And it costs $6.50 which is not in our budget. So <laughs> that's the thing about the city. Not complaining though. It's really good. So worth the extra $6.50. Yummy. A lot of factors obviously go into putting a budget and a cost of living together. So this is just based on, on us. It all depends on people's salaries and what they earn and how they live and what they like. Living in the city is not for everyone. So a lot of people go and live in the suburbs that surround the city. So your accommodation there might be a little bit cheaper. But then if you work in the city, you've got to think of your transport getting here. Okay, so let's put a demo budget together. A place we looked at in the city was two bedrooms, two baths. It will set you back about $850 a week, which works out to about $3,400 a month. In most cases that we've seen, you pay rent 
fortnightly. So just remember that there's 52 weeks in a year and 12 months. So just be careful if you're paying fortnightly because that means you're going to pay for an extra month. And if you get paid a salary from your company monthly, they don't always balance. So your budget needs to be adjusted slightly. Then let's say you spend about $200 a week on groceries, more or less. Yep. And that's $800 for the month. If you decide to take public transport every day, that will work out to two trips a day for $2.37. So for the week, you're going to pay $23.70. And if you are two people doing that, the monthly cost would be $189.60. Good maths. Well done. <laughs> and let's say you just use your car on weekends like we do. That will be about $100 a on month. Petrol. Petrol. Yep. And also don't use the petrol station that we showed you in this video because I saw a TikTok video from some news reporters who went around Auckland to all the petrol stations and that one was the most expensive in the city. Yep. So. <laughs> we did a bit of research on car insurance and you could pay anything from $45 to $50 fortnightly. So let's put down $50 and that's 100 a month. And let's say you're one of the lucky ones and your water's included. So free zero cost there but for electricity and internet we say put away around 350 dollars a month cell phones more or less a hundred dollars a month for two people and then let's say apps because we know everybody has some kind of subscription so a hundred or so a month with we would say a hundred dollars a month but if you like sport 150 dollars a month <gasps> sky sport is like 45 dollars so for this demo budget obviously it's just over five thousand dollars for the month and then it's about a thousand two hundred for the week that is before entertainment before savings savings no gym so this is really just for the basics and i worked it out to more or less 250 per day that means you'll need to make 32 dollars an hour after they take tax Kiwi Saver and whatever else. Just on the screen, I'll put down the tax rates. So there's different brackets. There is no under the tax bracket in New Zealand either. And Kiwi Saver also, you can choose what contributions you want to make. So you have to keep that in mind when you work out your monthly budgets and whether you can actually make it on the hourly rates that your company is offering you. So please keep all of this in mind. You also have to put money away for medicals. We have our own little medical emergency fund because we don't have a medical aid. You need to keep in mind that stuff like the dentist would cost almost a thousand dollars for two fillings. If you go to the doctor you still have to pay a fee and your medication at least then is free. So a lot to keep in mind for cost of living. <laughs> Just be realistic. We don't want you to get disappointed when you get here. The city is a bit more expensive than the outskirts and the suburbs, but we love it. <laughs> so if you think we left an important thing out of this video, please let us know in the comments. But other than that, thank you for watching. We hope this was helpful. This was our basic budget of living in the city. Hope you enjoyed it and please join us in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Right? Yep. <laughs> Are there any other bits and bobs that we forgot about? Mm. You're yes. complicating it okay, a bit no, too no. much. Say no. simpler. So if you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheaper than TCB. I don't know. That's the simple version. Oh. I'm going into detail. Too much. Yeah. <laughs>